Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of a 3 part tutorial on modeling, texturing, and animating some realistic trees for the Blender game engine. Hi boys. Um, we're gonna make our leaves. So let's go ahead and shade these at smooth and we will bring in a new image, or sorry, new material, and we will call this leaves. to enable transparency. Make sure we're in Blender game and GLSL is enabled. Okay, uh, for the leaves, we can go ahead and uh, I'm actually going to let's reset this. Oops, maybe. We'll go like this, projection view bounds. one and we'll go leaves uh, and so uh, actually this one's going to be just the regular leaves I've gotten all these textures off of cgtextures.com uh, and I'm going to use maybe this one first and if we head over to uh, textured mode we can add in a sun and for the purpose of making this look a little better, let's um, adjust these settings a little bit. So we'll go ahead and enable alpha. And we want to make sure that this is. Oh no, I believe it's the other slider. This alpha here is all the way off. Um, now, if we play this, uh, you can see we get some uh, lighting issues. So, what we want to do is make sure that we hit uh, intensity and color here. Now, if we play this, won't take the color of the um, transparency. That looks pretty good now. Okay, folks, so um, I'm going to have to do this for the second time because uh, the first attempt, I saved over the wrong image. So what we're going to do, make sure you do this, see a trees diffuse image and load in um, your trees AO. Okay, now um, we can head over to texture paint mode. Make sure that this is the image selected. So what I did is I had this image selected, and you can see um, exactly how that turned out. But the issue is that's quite a low, low resolution image, so it didn't give me the results I needed. Uh, 
so we're gonna go back and do this for a second time. Uh, let's go ahead and reload this texture. Let's grab it, add it to solid view. strength up quite a bit, turn it to mix, and uh, not so much. I'm going to go ahead and start making our shape. Okay, so we'll go ahead. Okay, so the next step is we'll go ahead and image and we'll save a copy. We'll save this as trees and hues. And we'll head into our favorite, or it might be your favorite for me. It's let's create and then close this. And we can come back into our program here. So now what we can do here is we'll pop into textured view. I'm going to go ahead and remove these two images here. And I'm going to grab, uh, uh oh, let's make sure we do this correctly. Yeah, this image here. a little dark but we'll uh, fix that in a second so we can go trees to normal open our normal map and we'll go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this and rotate it because that's gonna help us see this a bit better we'll go ahead and enable that as a normal map remove the color sure it's enabled as a normal map and you can see it's pretty strong right now so we're gonna go ahead and bump this down to about 0.8 I think that's looking a lot better already and then go ahead and add in our specular map and we'll go ahead and open the specular and we'll go ahead and enable these two values here and you'll see that that is looking pretty darn good already Something we can do is I'm just going to reduce the amount of normal happening here uh, to 0.5. And we'll take a little stroll and we'll see how it looks. And that's looking pretty good, I think. Okay, now something else we want to do is add some reflection to these. So we'll go ahead and add in our reflection map. What I'm going to do is uh, change this to an image remover and uh, open uh, my reflection image. Uh, so gracefully provided by the Infinite Memo. And head over to reflection. You can see these trees are really shiny now, but uh, we don't need that shiny. We just want it really minimal. It's going to help with these when we come over and change it to reflection.
selection. Let me change that to about 22. Uh, I don't want it that quite that shiny, but uh, a little bit of shininess on the leaves goes a long way. And we also want to make sure we turn the normal on a little bit. Uh, ooh, not on the uh, that, but on this. that's looking pretty good. So, what I'm going to do for the pine tree uh, is move this over about there. And uh, we're going to scale it down to start. I'm going to put my cursor to this selection. Press period to change that. And we'll copy this and rotate it. Get uh, some results that we like. So we'll go ahead and start it low and uh, copy it and kind of rotate it and play with it a little bit. now. Uh, we can go ahead and get back into our edit mode here. I'm going to grab uh, these last couple and bring them up. And this one here is going to have uh, a bit of a raise in it. So it's going to turn on the connected proportional editing one. Basically, make a cap for our tree. And put that there. So, we'll copy this one, move it down. And there you go. That is our tree. So, if we go ahead and play this, uh, you can see there's a bit of issues with clipping. So, what we're going to head and do is change the type to alpha clip see that all those issues have been corrected. Pretty decent now. So that's tree number one. Time for bachelor number two. We're going to start off with our leaf texture again. And this time I'm going to make uh, what I call a bundle. So I'm going to go into edit mode and rotate this. Same thing we did before, uh, oops, but more specific to the trees now, or to the branches now.
that's it. Just like that, we've got ourselves some pretty nice looking trees. As you can see, there are some spots where you might want to go through and, and fix this up. I think for the most part, that looks pretty good. Next tutorial is going to be on animating these. <coughs> so, uh, I hope you enjoyed the first two parts of this tutorial. 